Welcome to Harbor Highlights. Happy Monday and a Happy New Year. We have a sports update and pictures of our holiday spirit week from before break. This and more, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Chauncey. And I'm Gus. To start our show, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Before break, we celebrate some holiday spirit with some dress-up days. Here are just a few pics of our dressed-up students and staff. Those were some pretty impressive outfits. It was a fun way to get into the holiday spirit. Now over to this week's general announcements. Thanks, I'm Alan. And I'm Lyndon. Here are this week's lunch specials. Tuesday is nachos, Wednesday is the special for the week corn dogs, Thursday is pasta, and Friday is mo mozzarella sticks. We have a few students signed up to complete in this year's spelling bee. Today is the last day to turn in your form if you want to compete. The bee will happen on Wednesday after school, beginning at 3. Now we have Ms. Morales with a quick update from the counselors. Hi, I'm with Ms. Morales for a quick counselor update. What is the best way to access the office or get a scheduling appointment? That is a really good question. So it is really important that each um, grade level stay in the correct um, counseling classroom, Google Classroom that we have set up for you. So earlier this year, you know, we blasted those Google Classroom codes everywhere. Um, now would be a great time to do a double check of all your classrooms and make sure that you're there because all of the counseling information is available in um, our Google Classroom. There's a link that's right at the top and that's how you continue to request an appointment to see us. We still are not doing walk-ins, um, you know, because of uh, COVID-19 safety precautions. And so it is important that you either um, access the Google form and fill it out, or you can, um, of course, email your counselor directly to request an appointment. What other information is available in the Google Classroom? So if you will recall, um, the counselors push out information, usually like mental wellness tips. We also provide career um, exploration information there. And anytime we're made aware of opportunities in the community, you'll see that we publish information there too. So for example, CultureWorks is actually offering some spring workshops um, that students can register for. So you'll see very soon that the counselors will post an update for that out of school opportunity that you might register for. So it is important to stay in the classroom um, because that's where we communicate with each of our classes, our 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. What are some good tips for mental health this winter? So obviously winter has kind of just started for us. You know, we're just back from winter break. We finally have some snow, um, but COVID-19 has not gone away. And so we do need to continue to take care of ourselves, keep our stress levels down. And so we've got some ideas for you that you can use inside as well as some outdoors. We're all different types of people. Some people like the outdoors, some people don't. So if you're spending more time inside, of course, working on some physical activity, and I know we've, we've sent it out before, but Ms. Bishop's um, physical wellness website is a great place to find uh, workout videos that you can do on your own. YouTube, of course, has a lot of things. 
Um, but in addition to physical fitness inside, we want to keep busy. We want to keep our brains engaged. We want to um, be able to express our feelings. So I would encourage you to get crafty or maybe learn a new skill. Maybe ask um, if you can learn how to cook or to bake. Um, if you are more of an outdoorsy person, um, you'll see some tips on the screen. There are some websites that are linked in my slide deck um, that help you locate parks where you can either learn to ski or snowboard or go sledding or just take a walk. Um, I would encourage you maybe to have some, when we get a little more snow, have some snow creature building contests. If you've got brothers and sisters, have a good old fashioned snowball fight or, you know, be productive. Offer to be kind, show a random act of kindness and shovel um, or plow someone else's driveway for them. Um, so we do want to stay active. We want to keep our bodies active as well as um, our brains. And so I would encourage you to think about crafts, think about hobbies. Um, of course, reading, you know, we're here in the library right now. And of course, Miss Boston is amazing at helping us pick um, new books if we need them. Um, so the key is to stay busy. Winter is just starting um, and we need to make sure that we're not just sitting. Um, it's not any good for us. So hopefully those tips will help. If you need more resources, also in the slide deck, you'll see that the counselors have linked some important mental health um, websites and phone lines that you can access if you need them. Thank you, Ms. Morales, for this interview, and thank you for Lily for filming. We're headed into the last two weeks of smoking period. Please make sure that you're checking Infinite Campus, make sure that, making sure that you've completed your work. Now over to sports. Thanks, I'm Lily. And I'm Monroe. If you are interested in going on the ski and snowboard trip this Friday, please pay attention. From now on, please go to Miss Postman's room, room 136, to sign up for the trip with your $7 for the bus. All students that sign up for the trip can go. You must sign up for Thursday at 11 a.m. to go on the trip for Friday. To end sports, we have a quick update from Miss Dysomars about winter one and two sports. Hi, everyone. It's Miss Dysomars. I have a little update on sports for you guys. So, if the MHSAA allows Winter One sports, which are boys basketball, girls swim and dive, and girls competitive cheer, will be able to restart on January 16. Uh, those athletes should look for an email from their coaches as we get closer to that date to see what their practice schedules will look like, along with any updates that may come in the next few weeks. As for Winter Two sports, which is seventh and eighth grade girls basketball, co-ed wrestling and boys swim and dive. They are hopefully having their first day of practices and tryouts on February 8. More information regarding times and locations will be coming soon via email through final forms and infinite campus. In the meantime, students need to make sure that they have a physical on file and a final forms account created. Students who have a physical on file from last year do not need to turn in a new physical form, but instead need to turn in the MHSAA Sports Health Questionnaire. Physical forms, the questionnaire, and final forms registration instructions can be found in the main office. All of this must be completed before the first day of practices and tryouts. If this is not completed, students will not be allowed to participate. We are super excited that, to get back to sports and hopefully they will be starting soon. We hope things get started soon. Thanks for helping us stay safe by wearing your masks and social distancing. This is Fifth Hour's last show. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh.